Hello everyone and welcome back to GTA 5. Um, in today's episode we will be figuring out what's happened to Michael and hopefully getting through some more um, story missions. Um, but if you guys enjoy this episode and you want to see more just hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. And um, yeah, let's uh, get, get back into it. We are women, we are free, we're bringing into the patriarchy. We are women, hear our shouts. We are women, hear our shouts. We are women, have no doubt. We are women, we are free. Shut the fuck up! Thank you. Oh, my N word, huh? What's up, homie, huh? Oh, what a, is that how you act, huh? When a, when a friend makes a mistake, huh? No, really? Oh, no. What, oh, so what? It's just me getting hurt. Is that funny? No, huh? man. Oh, fuck you! I'm gonna put you in the fucking ground. You laugh at me again. Man, calm down. I have met a lot of assholes in my life, but you, oh, you're not long for this world if this is the way you fucking act. You little jumped up motherfucker. Look, how about this, man? Calm down. It was funny at first, man. I made a mistake. Unfortunately, man, you failed. It was funny, all right? I apologize. I accept your apology. Okay? All right, so... Let's hug it out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> right? You're so fucking you're funny, gotcha. No. Oh, fuck, no, I'm not funny. I'm fucking asshole. Oh, fuck. I, I had a difficult childhood. Damn, man, you all right? I'm just fucking on edge, you know? Look, I love you, right? But I would have... I would have... Look, look, fucking! Look, man. Lester said you had some information for us about Michael. Michael? Fuck Michael! I hope he's dead. Man, I know y'all two, man. Come on, man. You two had beef before. But what the fuck happened in North Yankton? Somebody pinched him, man. Who? My friend Ron met these Chinese assholes. They're from Yangshan in China. We had some problems. They mistakenly thought Michael was a human being and kidnapped him. Yeah. And now it looks like they holding him somewhere in the city. Yes. Come on, bro. Well, go fuck yourself. You <laughs> want that piece of shit? That's your fucking business, all right? He's dead to me, all right? And chances are, if and when I see him, he's going to be dead to everyone else as well. Hey, come on, bro. Don't do that. You're pushing your luck, pal. What was that? Huh? What was that? Uh, nothing. Ah! Ouch. Asshole! Everybody! Assholes! <sighs> oh, is that guy's problem? Hey, it's me. What did Trevor say? Man, Michael's being held by a Chinese crew because of Trevor. The irony isn't lost. I'm sending you an app for your phone. But Michael's cell just came back online. This will track its signal. It'll work better the closer you get. Be careful. Sure. Oh, I there he is. Told you, he ain't my Gila. Don't try to persuade me, you're not lovers. He's laughing at you, you fucking idiot. You're making a mistake. It costs a lot of money to track you down. I record every favor uh. I could in the Midwest. And then you kill several good uh. men. Good day, huh? Good day. Good fucking day to you. Kill him. Hey, Trevor hey, Phillips hey, isn't oh, coming. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, hey, hey! Hey, that's a big fucking mistake! Oh, shoot. Okay. We've got a time limit. Come on, give us Michael. Hey, 
You got an old white dude that don't belong to you. Michael, go! Where you at? There you go. Where you Come at, down. bro? Hey, hey! It's like what he got! He won't be coming back from that. Come on. Yay, it's free. Hey, this way, come on. Okay, we I think we can actually get out of here now. Going this one. I just want to get home. I'm going to get you there. Hey, we pick up a tail. Shit. From what I heard, yeah, maybe not. Home sweet right, home. See ya. Show. Hey, sure you don't want to come in? What, your big empty ass house? Dog, I'm depressed enough already. All right. Well, listen, thanks. Look, man, before you go, what the fuck happened up there? I said, Trevor went crazy, tried to kill me, I got jumped by the Chinese. Uh, man, before all that, I'm talking about the feds, Trevor, this guy Brad, man. I know what you meant. All right, look, I made a judgment call. I don't know if it was the right one. I did what I thought I had to do. I had a young family, Franklin. I was running with a crew of crazy motherfuckers with nothing to lose. I saw it out. A future for me, for my family. I took it. You took it? Man, you burned every motherfucker you've ever known. It was that or die. Ugh. Look, I know it sounds cold. I don't expect you to understand it. Not yet, but you will. When you got ties of your own. Look, you wake up one day, and, and your legs, they just give. You just can't run anymore. All right, man, look, you watch your back, all right? When Trevor finds out you're still alive, I don't know what the fuck he gonna do. Don't worry about Trevor. He's not gonna get near me. Hey, you watch your back. You hear me? Dog, it ain't me he coming for. We straight. It's you, dog. It's you. Just say.
Before I do that, I want to go to do this one. Donovan, don't do it. Yes, on me, please, big man. We had a deal. We had paperwork. Hey, fuck off, Johnny. Hey, you're a couple real badasses. Put a beat down on an old man. We don't take that. We have a deal hey. with them. Just about. Please, get those millennial ass wipes. With pleasure. You fuck what? Where are you going, tough guys? Let's get him. No. We got a deal. That's on you, dickwad. How you like me now? Not so much. <laughs> Now we can go and do uh, let me You got lucky, buddy. Oops. Really bad driver. Okay, we made it, finally. What's going on? Oh, just enjoying a little labor dispute. See, we're about to do something really, really bad. So I need to present myself as a proper textile magnet, so... So you stop making anything? Nothing looks more suspicious in America than someone who's actually prepared to make something. <laughs> Jesus. What about you? Oh... Pocket, Trevor. Excuse me. We're having some problems. Brad. Yeah, what else? Now, so anyway, 
The Union Depository is on hold for now. Can't do it without him, especially now that he knows. Thank God you guys are here. You alone? Davey, where's your boyfriend, Steve? He's on his way up. Yeah, they're up here. Listen, this shit's about to hit the fan. Our entire lives together has been nothing but a series of fans and shits. Sort this problem out for me, and I will get Mr. Leisure Wear off your back. And if we don't? Then I will go to jail and you will get shot. Ah, fuck you, Dave. I've heard it all before. Not like this, you haven't. Has he briefed you? Oh, why, well, yes, he has. He told us that if we do what you say, then together we can take down the big bad wolf that is government corruption. Yeah, and if you don't, we're all gonna fry. Because the agency's onto us. I've even got some fools in our own bureau that are questioning my methods. <laughs> Think I'm a liar, <laughs> a cheater, some kind of a killer and a thief. So? So, there's some, uh, evidence. And I need you guys to find out what they know. All right, so what? You want Lester here to hack into the system, wipe it all clean? Oh, no, no, that will not work. The only way to access it is through your buildings. Fuck me. <laughs> Michael, you'd be doing me a very big favor. And if you do this, I will make sure that all your files are deleted. I promise you. Hey, it's the last thing we do, and we're done. Period. Of course. I'm a man of my word. Dave, let's go. Come on, Lester, let's go. Good luck, gentlemen. This doesn't seem good. Take us to the Bureau. Parking garage entrance. So, you got any idea how we'll do this? Scope it out? Uh, not really, but I thought we'd start by finding a way into the building. We're going in through the parking lot? Oh, this might be in. That's the one. Don't stay behind him, but don't let him see you. So what's gonna happen when this guy gets wherever he's going? He's gonna get his severance package. Huh, I can't tell if that's some creepy euphemism or a plain statement of facts. It's whatever you want it to be. <laughs> okay. You mind? Put away the smartphone or pad or whatever the hell that is for a minute. No surfing while I'm trying to tail this guy. It's work related. Yeah, well, I'd prefer all hands on deck right now, if it's okay with you. God, you're worse than my son. You want to break into the FIB's West Coast headquarters, you're going to need more than a janitor's license plate number. Now let me work on some angles while you uh, keep this car behind that one in between these right. white lines. That's it. I mean, other than a few missing expletives in terms of racial abuse, that was my son in spades. I just spoke with Agent Haynes. We've got the budget to pull this off. Good. Come on, what do we do when he gets home? What do we need from him? We need cooperation, and maybe his overalls, and an ID. And if he don't cooperate? You know what it's like to clean up shit for Steve Haynes? He'll cooperate. This is the thing, I don't really don't like tailing, tailing missions. It'd be really, uh, not easy.
He's pulling up. Park down the block. We are finally. Hey, Marilyn. How's that cable connection coming along? Fine, fine. Sorry, look, um, I'm busy. Only when she needs something. Looks like I'm playing Assassin's Creed right now. You got another one of those, Harvey? Uh oh, who are you? The guy with your best interests at heart. Fill your pockets with money, and all you gotta do is take a little vacation. Hey, I work two jobs, man. Take any break I can get. Yeah. Hey, you want the beer? Nah, I'll just take the overalls. Oh, and your ID. It's in there. Oh, and Harvey. I probably don't need to say this. But you don't play ball? I'll be forced to do something I really don't want to do. Enjoy your beer. Hey, wasn't that difficult? There we go. Got what we needed. Uh, not that way. Oh. Successful? Oh yeah. We gotta go back to my office. That was easy. Yes, you were right. Steve Haynes is a shitty boss. Hey, I called Frank while you were in there. He's coming to meet us. Yeah, huh? What do we need him for? Grunt work. Information gathering. What information? Okay. Uh. What's the problem, dog? Steve fucking Haynes. Of course it's Steve fucking Haynes. It's always Steve Haynes. That is not strictly true. It's either Steve Haynes or it's Trevor or it's his family. It's always one of them. Yeah, that's true. It is always one of them. Well, that'll fuck with a horrible family and even worse friends. I told you, Franklin, I ain't a good role model. Period. Yeah, whatever, dog. It's either this or Dylan dime bags. The bullets come cracking at your ass either way. We need to find out something about this FIB building, a weakness or a way in. Next time I meet a morally destitute, totally delusional, highly corrupt government agent. I hope he's a nice one. Man, I'm not going in that motherfucker by myself. No, 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 no. Nobody is going in. We need to do some recon. We need a little more information. She. I need the architectural plans, but they're not online anywhere. I'm going to need paper copies. Now, the architect's name is Chip. Peterson, this was his first big commission, and the office is down in Backlot City. All right. Franklin, you go tell him for a little while, and then we'll talk. All right, dog, I got you. Try not to hurt yourself. Oh, good, good, good. Wait. Thank God, they might be back. spite you okay I just I get so mad and I can't control things and then you know shit just falls on top of me my life sucks right now and I don't know what to do except I want to say I love you and hug it out but all that wimpy shit is just well I'd say gay but I have some friends who are gay so that's not cool anymore and the ones that I don't really like it's not because they're gay so lame all right you are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes you do bad shit and things 
I don't know if I love you, and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit, but I'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other. And you're just a drunk, lame dad. You know what? That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. <laughs> so will you buy me a car? What? I mean, not in the so will you buy me a car kind of way, in a completely off topic, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And, and secondly, I will get a job and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. Now, go. Get a job, because I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way, I'm probably going to be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? Yeah, it's great catching up with you too, Dad. Yeah. Hey, uh, how's your mother? Oh, she's great. <sighs> no, she's not. She's bored. I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better-built, caring and compassionate man is great and all, but what's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right! I can take a fucking hit. Let's go. We'll get... Tracy on the way. <laughs> Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star. Sort of. Mom said she was at Bean Machine. Oh, it's bad at being, so, it being raining. What's been happening? You know, I don't know, s stuff? No. I don't know. Well, what's been happening with you? Uh, thanks. It's been... It's... It's anyone's guess. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. You were out of the city? Sure, you guys were gone, so I thought I'd, you know... Oh, okay. Here they are. Come on, let's say hi. Let's walk up and be civil. No caffeine. Come on. Your curling has been sluggish for weeks. A little bit less... Uh, excuse me, I'm trying to write a screen. Shush, here. woman! Hey, Amanda. Fabian. Michael? Hi, Mom. Hi, Jimmy. This is true. A picture of holistic well-being, I don't think. Hey. Maybe they shit once a year between them. Hey, oh! That's my son! Amanda, come. I have a new unit card on hold. You must pay for it. Hey! Hey! Buddy, I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. I ain't even gonna go there. I'm gonna ask you one time, nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. What? what are you doing? Ah! 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 I had some really good work there, you dick! There's a lot more where that came from, Holmes. <laughs> Was he alive? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda. I wanted to. I'm meaning to say to you. I just. What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic, old, drunken mess and he needs you. And you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation. <laughs> Someone shut up! I guess we could try. All I'm asking for is a shot. Neutral ground. Dr. Friedlander's office. It's perfect. All of us. I'll pick up Tracy and bring her there. Meet you? Fine. All right, you. Come on. Get up, you idiot. Oh. Yoga? No. No yoga. Oh. All right. You know where your sister is, right? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, wait, wait. But what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat food beverage I want? Another time. Oh. Come on. I want one, too. Later. <laughs> I think Tracy's over at the tattoo parlor. Hey man, what's up? What? Tracy's getting another tattoo. No, oh god no. That Laszlo guy's there. Laszlo? That asshole? What's he want? It's Tracy that wants something. 
She wants to get back on fame or shame after you and Uncle T cut her cameo short. Well, maybe we ought to help her out with that. Maybe we ought to. Hey, let me ask you. Back there with your mom. That went okay, didn't it? Anything that ends with Fabian's burst eardrum is more than okay with me. Yeah, I mean with me and your mom. I think it's an important first step in, like, the direction of okay, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I think they're in here. Let's get Tracy back. Hello. I got I'm looking for something hip that, you know, says I'm capable of violence, but I'm awesome in the sack. So listen, babe, if you want to make it in Vinewood, you got to do whatever it takes, even if <laughs> whatever it takes is a depressed borderline alcoholic who hosts the third most popular talent show amongst the 40-year-old female demographic. So you'll let me on the show if I blow you? <laughs> Yes, and if you could wear some black lipstick, the little guy loves the goth vibe. Oh, whoa, Laszlo. <laughs> Dude, that was entirely out of context, bro. Jim, you find the ink slinger, sit on him. Laszlo here's gonna have a little cosmetic work done. No, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. stay put, you lame ass Mark. Uh, sure, kid. What? Just oh, uh, uh, got my job. Uh, okay? I'm already <laughs> scarred down this, there. This, this, <laughs> this piss eyebrow. Are you popping a fucking tent over here, you fucking psycho? Oh, God, you fucking prick! Jesus! Come on, my punk days are long, but... Oh. Ah. Ow! Oh, ho, ho, that looks purdy. Here, let's get rid of this. Oh, my God! Papa Bear! What's daddy number two gonna think about this? Let's not get him involved. Let's do... Uh, that, that's, a, that's a clean needle, right? I don't need more yes. FC. She's a fucking horse. You really don't want me to slip. Should I draw his three pubic hairs? <laughs> there we go. Nice. Uh, you got like a camera phone or a mirror? I can. Oh yeah, I'll get you a mirror. Smash uh, you over the head with it. Too nice much. Uh, 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 snip, snip. Oh, this is a real one-stop shop. You fucking asshole! I'm a celebrity. Oh, oh, no, that's my, that's my signature, my ponytail. Now I gotta get extensions. No, what you gotta get is my daughter, whatever she wants. Yeah, without sucking on your piddle stick. Look, okay guys, that was a joke. I'm a clown, I'm a sad, lonely little clown. Hey, you're gonna put her on your show and you're gonna make sure she looks good. Look, okay, I got a lot of juice in this town, but I mean, I'm not a miracle. Just do it! Uh, yeah. All right. All right, Trace, let's go. We gotta get to the therapist. What? So, I'll like call you or something, okay? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Never a family that needs therapy. My pony. How do I look? It's not good, is it? No. Who knew you could use a tattoo gun? It's one of those skills you pick up in prison. You know, inking your name on your celly's ass. Ew. Are you serious? Come on. No. Not quite. Hey, how's it going? was your mother's idea. Well, I guess it beats yoga. Pop, now he beats yoga. Literally. Like Fabian, around the head with the laptop. Oh yeah, like pow. Our old man released the dude's inner tranquility all over the bean machine bad end. To be honest, and I know it's karmically bad, but yeah, I fucking hate that dude. Yeah, I know, right? Alright, oh, oh, alright. So You're a fucking contortionist. Whoopee. I can tort my junk all day long and I don't act no superior about it. Just a little ashamed and empty. Over share. Hey, guy was talking smack to your mother. Well, I applaud you, Pop. Here, here. You're like finally like using your powers of selfishness and rage for like good. Not an objective universal good, but like a subjective what's in our best interest kind of good. Fuck yeah, awesome. Let's rob somebody. <laughs> do it, Dad. Yeah, do it. Do it. Do it. Enough, okay? 
I love that we're getting along, but knock it off. Yeah, don't like actually rob a liquor store. That might like kill the mood. We're fucking therapy. Let's do that shit. Hey. How about you just let your mom and me talk, okay? We got some issues we gotta iron out. And seeing as you two aren't into it, you could just sit there and be quiet. That's cool with me. I got all the prescriptions I need, at, at least for the meantime. Thank you. Michael, kids, let's go inside. Okay. Amanda! Hello! Good to see you again. Michael, I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Michael, be positive. I am being positive. This is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm, it's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda, trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a whore beneath you. <laughs> you know, for someone who spends every waking moment working on themselves inside and out, I gotta tell you, the progress has been really fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Uh, gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh! All I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Michael, could you please stop endangering me and the both of your children? You kill people and then you sit in the sun and drink and feel guilty about it. That is not work. I don't see you complaining on the way to the fucking bank. I mean, let's face it, Amanda. We're trailer trash, you and me. We were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you suck my cock? Huh? Oh, wait. We'll both get a center before that ever happens. You are such a fucking animal, a deranged animal. You fucking ain't right on deranged. How could I not be? I should have had you locked up years ago, you stupid Do it. shit. Do it. I'll put you in the fucking ground with the rest of them. And that's really all the time we have. Oh. Great. I think we made some real progress there. Oh, uh, Michael. <laughs> I hope this goes without saying, but family work is a little more expensive. What, double? squared <laughs> of course take care now hey so you gonna come home with me or what guess we'll give it a try all right then kids are you gonna take us home then You know, there was a moment there, I thought... What? I don't know, like, maybe we still had a ways to go, you know, like, maybe we need more time. Time for what? Time to move beyond screaming at each other. That was cathartic. Catharsis all over my face. Ooh, I got a warm, fuzzy feeling. Probably just the meds you rated. Okay. <laughs> cathartic. All right, I just don't want it to be more of the same. Now you're the one making the demands? No, 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 not demands. I... You dick, Michael! Not demands. I, I, I'm saying you're right. Something was broke, and we gotta work at fixing it. We do. All of us. Yes, Mom. We're real peeps. Because I started to understand something in there. No one else gets this family. Not Dr. Friedlander, or my yoga teacher, or our tennis coach, 
or the juice guy, or the dog walker. Oh, or, hey, hey. Or Jimmy's third grade teacher. Or the trash guy. Or dad's proctologist. Or the guy that thinks he's Jesus on Vespucci Beach. Or the hippie <laughs> bum who thinks the world is ending. We're stuck with each other. I mean, how do you explain faking our deaths, changing our names, all the lying to the FIB? That monster, Trevor. There's no explaining Uncle T. Hey, is he coming to the next therapy session? What? No. No. Jeez. Just one thing, Michael. Don't get us killed. And don't get killed. Can you do that? I'll try. Kids? Rooms. If you find dead bodies, cheap women, or Trevor Phillips, we're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel. Ooh, now where are we going? Last one standing. Again. Hey, Mike. It's Frank, the man of following the architect. All right. Don't fuck it up. All right. You owe me 20 bucks. What a tell hey, the stupid. architect. You can't be on here without a hat! Yeah, thanks a lot. Site inspection! Architect on site! Anything we need to be worried about? The only thing we're worried about is you changing the plans again. There's always scope for improvement. Always is. Those idiots drilled the new caissons on the west side. You're kidding me. The bedrock ends there. We need caissons on the east side. Ah, uh, no drama. It's a government contract. We'll be paid until completion. I ain't taking a fall for this screw up. It's a government contract. No one's taking a fall. Except the government. I think he knows I'll be following him. Oh, look, it's the great RT. Study him and study him hard. I was gonna wipe my ass on him. That's the engineer's plan. Mine you treat like a religious text, remember? This guy. Anyone know this guy? Hey, man, you ain't Bring meant to it, be here. Oh! 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 Hang on. Ah, oh, the police got called quick. Oh no, I think I'm going the wrong way. Come on, let's go. Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. Yeah. Put that it. Oh look, it's the great RT. Study him and study him hard. I was gonna wipe my ass on him. That's the engineer's plan. Mine you treat like a religious text, remember? Oh, shit! Fucking scum! Christ! It's back to downtown units. Can we, um... Are you shoot out? I don't think we can. Greg, 
Hey, you got him? Of course I do, homie. Here. Thank you. So, all good? Sure, homie. So is this shit for real? We just gonna rob the FIB and be allowed to walk by your boys like that. Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. All right, Lester, what do you got? Uh, I don't quite know yet. Give me a minute. I'm not a fucking computer. Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> Here's what I think. We have two options. The new security software goes into containment mode in case of emergency, you know, uh, earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So we could plant some firebombs. They go bang, the emergency call goes out. We hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or we could hack the system on site. We'll go in by, uh, by air. Uh, hope we don't run into too much physical resistance. Sounds relaxing. Either bombing our office ran by a division of corrupt government psychos or defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah. Any, many, money, mo. Hmm. I think. If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play-acting. You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off, and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau so you can torch the truck and get out. The car doesn't have to be anything special. There shouldn't be any heat. Well, what about the other way, with the uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Your FIB paymasters will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. Now you fly way up above the building, parachute in, and gain access to the roof here. Now you'll need to be armed to the teeth, mind you, just in case the uh, shit goes down. Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. Now, Haynes has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that. We keep the change. So, what's it gonna be? Um... Let's go for A. <laughs> so you do want a mop. Okay. Well, you'll need a couple of gunmen. They'll go in with you as firemen. Everything goes to plan. They won't fire a single bullet, but you will be running into a burning high-rise with them, so consider that. Well, should be okay. He's got a few scores left in him. Ah, Norm. Came across as a, a bit of an idiot, but could be useful. This is a protected federal building. Are you absolutely sure this is how you want to take it? Yes. And we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. All right, shit, hit. You know, um, I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you know who. Uh, well, as long as he can't do it without us. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it there for now. If you guys enjoyed this episode and you want to see more, just hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys in the next one.